Don't you want to hear the story? I'm not sure. I don't want to be hit again, though. Like this? <laughs> Stop! What's the matter with you? I'm crazy, you FOB! <laughs> it's not funny. Listen, Jerry. This is good. I want this bitch. Now, you go sit over at that bitch. And if you're good, I'll tell you the rest of the story. No! But why? I, I, besides, I see no reason why I should give up this bench. I sit here almost every Sunday afternoon. I come here, it's quiet. There's never anyone here. So I have it all to myself. Listen, Peter. You get off this bench. I want it. You can't have it. People can't have everything they want. Peter, Peter. You should know Peter, that. Peter, I, I want this bench. So you get, you get over there. Now get over there. No. Okay, well, hey, you know, you're a vegetable. Get over on that ground over there, man. Just get over there. No, you listen to me. You know, you know, you are a vegetable, you know, and you have kind of near stuff to do. Stop it. And, you know, you have this American Idol thing, you know, this William Hung thing, you know, you have a certain dignity about it, you know, and I think it's really surprising. That's you know? enough! <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's, let's fight for a minute. Let's fight. Come on, get up. Yeah. But, you know, come on, get up, man. But, you know, it's not really an evenly matched, you know, thing, you know, I think, I think this will make you more evenly matched. You're crazy. Yeah. You're gonna kill me. Yeah, man. Pick it up. No! No! Pick up the knife and we eat only mash, man. I'm not gonna pick up the knife. Pick up that fucking knife, man. You no. fight for your self-respect. You fight that goddamn bitch. Let go of me! Listen, no! You stupid bastard. You fight for your daughter. You fight for your home. You fight for your, your wife. You can even get her pregnant with a boy. It's a matter of genetics, you jerk. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you one last chance. Get away from here and leave me alone! Hey. Well, man, that's the way it is, yeah? That's the way it is, man. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, thanks, Peter. It's really like trying to go away, man. Oh my god! doing? And I, you know, I don't know what's going on. So the guy kind of taken aback, you know, and they're kind of ready to fight. And the old guy, this guy comes from the head table from the other side. And he comes up and, you know, he kind of totters over. He's kind of an old guy, right? You know, and it's, I hate to be stereotypical, but he's like skinny. And, you know, it's kind of old. He's got a little scraggly beard. And then, you know, you see his teeth and they're not in great shape, you know. So he comes over and he says, he talks to this other guy, the guy that he in his Initially, business, what the, hell are you doing? the best course of action was to do a type of surgery known as a segmentectomy or a wedge resection. This involves removing only a part of the lobe. I, I don't understand what you're saying. From your new test results, the cancer seems to be aggressive and spreading. That being said, I think the best course of action now is to do a pneumonectomy, which involves removing the entire lung. It's spreading? Mrs. Ramsey, we need to act promptly. The soonest I can get you into surgery is five days from now, and we need to discuss the risk factors. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. It's pretty. I thought we were going to the parking lot. Nope, you need to try to get on the street today. I really just want to start at the parking lot. Amy. Everyone always goes to the parking lot to practice. Amy, all your sisters and your brother started from home. Why are you so worried about Leah and Mark and Emily? I don't know. But Amy, you know, you don't have to worry about them anymore. In this car, you're the only one that matters, yeah? You need to be fully in control. But you see what I'm saying, right? Yes, yes, I'm important. That's I'm very in true, control. But I can take you wherever you want to go. Look at that asshole.